Hello my wee willy winkies, Andy here for What Culture Wrestling, the commander of the content cow, back again with your daily news update and today we've got big stories on Johnny Gargano, NXT, Shawn Michaels, but first of all, Survivor Series. Now you could be forgiven for forgetting that WWE's last big four show of the year is only a month and a half away given the pay-per-view bloat at the moment. I mean, we've got Super Showdown, Evolution and Crown Jewel all to come before then, but it looks like WWE's plans for the big event are shaping up. This is obviously a big, big show and while recent years have revolved around a heavy Raw vs Smackdown feel, this may not be the case in 2018. According to the usually reliable WrestleVotes, WWE will not enter Survivor Series with the usual brand warfare theme. Now we might see a couple of Raw vs Smackdown matches, but they won't have the same level of promotional push. Push! Two O's, baby. After the absolute mess that was last year's men's elimination match, I can't see too many people complaining about WWE trying something new. But we will see a few traditional elimination matches, of course that's what the pay-per-view is all about, and the same source reckon we might well see Team Baron Corbin versus Team Kurt Angle for control of Raw. This feeds into current storylines with Big Banter Baron recently taking creepy kinky Kurt's job as general manager on Raw, so it makes sense. It's already being set up and Kurt clearly wants to wrestle again so from that standpoint book it up I guess. And in other news your man Shawn Michaels who looks all but certain to return to the ring in 2018 has just poured cold water on all that talk of potential dream matches he could potentially have with this exciting roster. He'll accompany Triple H to the ring at Super Showdown this week. After that, there's talk of a big DX vs Brothers of Destruction match at Crown Jewel. And after that, there's even been rumours of a big singles match with The Undertaker at Survivor Series. This has, of course, led to hopes among WWE fans that he could eventually tie up with some of the company's biggest and brightest, but no. PW Insider reckon that he will not be wrestling the likes of Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. They state that at the moment, Michael's only care is fulfilling his his obligations to WWE and that he feels that this is the only time he could potentially wrap up a storyline with The Undertaker, Kane and Triple H. Now depending on your perspective towards the 53 year old this is either a tremendous relief or a big disappointment but whatever the case at least he's back on our screens and seemingly happy with what he's doing. And finally, Johnny Gargano, one of NXT's biggest stars, has been speaking to the UK's Daily Star ugh, about his future and it doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Though he acknowledged in the interview that his ultimate goal along with many of his peers is to eventually compete at WrestleMania, he's very, very happy in NXT. He said the following and I quote, NXT is such a special place. We are focused on building something wrestling fans can be proud of and we are building it together. Everyone always talks to me about when I am going to the main roster, but I love NXT. And that's not a company answer. I genuinely love it and I am very proud of it. It's really refreshing to hear that from Gargano because the main roster is a vastly different product to NXT and let's be honest, WWE don't exactly do the best job when it comes to handling these call-ups so in some cases wrestlers are actually better off staying on the smaller stage. I'm sure we'd all rather see Johnny sticking around on NXT for the foreseeable future having killer matches with the likes of Tommaso Ciampa and the Velveteen Dream rather than drowning with Aria Davari on 205 Live. Anyway guys, that's all for today. Be sure to let us know what you think of WWE's potential Survivor Series plans, Shawn Michaels' comments on potential dream matches, and of course Johnny Gargano in NXT down in the comments section below. And once you've done that, head on over to whatculture.com forward slash WWE where you'll find all manner of great articles written by my friends Jamie Kennedy, Benjamin Richardson, Michael Hamflit, and Michael Sidgwick. You'll have a great time. I've been Andy, and I'll see you later.